Good morning. Welcome to the Chicala Kitchen and happy day before the 4th. So today we are finally going to make, oh, put that in the face, our famous key lime extravaganza that I've been talking about all week. This was far and away the most, the most requested summer dessert that the La Chicala Catering Company ever had. We did them, oh my God, I used to do three and four a day. The racks in my garage, I have at least a half a dozen, if not a dozen, um, spring form pans because we used to do tons of them. I had one lady, any party she had, she would order at least two of them, one for the party and one to hide in her garage refrigerator because her husband would be upset if she didn't put one away for him the next day. Um, <laughs> so uh, at the beginning of this video, you will see a picture. I'm putting in uh, a collage of two pictures. Those are two from my old catering company because uh, we haven't done this yet. So I'm putting a couple of old pictures in so you'll see what we're gonna have at the end. But there are two things I want to tell you before we start. First of all, for any TikTokers, this video is going to go beyond the length that TikTok allows. So if you want to see the full tutorial, please come and join us on Instagram or YouTube. On Instagram, we are La Chicala Culinary, La underscore Chicala underscore Culinary. On YouTube, we are La Chicala One. Please come join us over there, like and subscribe, follow us, and you'll get the whole tutorial. Uh, second thing, and this is really important if you want to make this fantastic recipe. It's not hard to make, but it is delicious. Key lime is different from regular lime. You need key lime juice. I have yet, in all the years I've been making this, ever found it in the supermarket. I order it on Amazon. Do not buy the bottle that says Key West Lime Juice. That's regular lime juice. You need something like this. It says, it says Key West, but it says Key Lime Juice. See what this says? This says Nellie and Joe, Key Lime Juice. You need to have something that specifically says Key Lime Juice not lime juice. It is completely different. You will have a completely different flavor. Key limes are different. You need key lime juice. I order it on Amazon. That's what you need to do. I have never seen it in a supermarket. If you do, more power to you. Okay, so what we're going to start off with is the crust. I use a spring form pan. I line the bottom with a piece of parchment paper. I lay it on the bottom tray and then put the sides on it. I wrap a piece of foil around in case of leakage, which isn't usually a problem, but just in case. Okay, I have two and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs. I have a quarter cup of dark brown sugar. I have a pinch of salt, quarter cup of dark, like I said, a quarter cup of dark brown sugar. I have a cup, uh, not a cup, I'm sorry, a stick of melted butter. And I have one extra large egg white. I only use extra large eggs, so that's what I have. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is mix this up so they're all incorporated. I wanna make sure that that's mixed really well. Okay. Hope you're all having a great weekend and have a great fourth planned. I've been seeing on my Facebook some really great fireworks displayed. This is Nova's first fourths. I'm kind of interested to see how she reacts. She doesn't really budge when there's thunderstorms or anything, so I'm thinking she's not going to have a big problem with it. My daughter's pups freak out. They, uh, are very upset when there's a thunderstorm or anything. So we'll see how Nova does. So we're gonna put in the cup of butter. Now the oven is preheated at 350 because this gets baked for a few minutes. 
And we're gonna put in the egg white. This is gonna roll off and mix it all up. Now, once this is all combined, we're gonna put it in that spring form pan. We're gonna start at the bottom and then work up the sides as high as we can go. Pack it in well and make sure to pack it up and push it against the sides as well as you can. You don't want the sides collapsing when it's in the oven. That's kind of important. But you also don't want a super thin bottom. So do the best you can. Now this is what, where your hands get a little bit icky, but it is what it is and it's all worth it in the end. We are actually looking forward to a family party tomorrow. Small one, but I always love spending time with family. I wish TikTok would give us a little bit more time. It would be fun. Right now, my issue with TikTok is they give us 10 minutes, but you can't get music on there longer than a minute. And being new to all this, I can't figure out how to loop it. If there's anybody on here who can tell me how to do that, please do. I'm such a tech idiot. And my son, who now lives in California, is not around to help me. Okay, so now we're gonna spread this out and start pushing up the sides. Make sure you leave enough on the bottom to give it a bottom layer. There you go. Okay, so when I'm done with this, I'll be back and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, you see what this looks like? Now this little gadget is actually for when you're making um, things in like a, a mini muffin pan and you need to press them in, but you may have seen me using it for other um, uses when I'm pressing something down. And I find it useful for things like this because it packs down and it packs against. See that? Okay. So this is gonna go in a 350 oven for about 15 minutes. Keep an eye on it, you don't want it to collapse. And then we're going to start on the baked filling because it needs to go in this filling as soon as it comes out of the oven hot and then go right back in. So we'll be back in a minute and we're gonna start on the baked filling. Okay. So while the crust is in the oven, before it comes out, we're getting the baked layer ready. Everything here has to be room temperature, so keep that in mind. We have eight egg yolks. We have a half a cup of sour cream. Make sure it's room temperature because otherwise it will split. Two cans of sweetened condensed milk, not evaporated milk, and one cup of your key lime juice. Again, key lime juice, not key west lime juice. Now, you don't need your mixer for this. Just some good hard whisking. Let's whisk those egg yolks. Get some air in there. Okay. Just whisk them up really well. Let's incorporate some air in there. You want this ready to go when that crust comes out because it should go in while the crust is hot and then it's gonna go back in the oven. You see how those bubbles are forming? That's good. My arms are not that great. Believe it or not, I've had a couple of strokes, but you know, I do my best. Okay, so now we're gonna dump in these two cans of sweetened condensed milk spatula because we want to get all of that out of there. And it gets, tends to be really sticky and it won't all come out. Good. Both of them. Okay. Excellent. And 
or sour cream. Again, room temperature, very important. Okay. Awesome. Gentle at first, because we don't want to be splattered. And then whisk it in. Now, when this layer comes out of the oven, it needs to cool completely before the next layer goes on. Okay. Good. Make sure it's nice and smooth. This is good. You can smell. Oh, good then. I can smell the key lime from here. Okay. Now, when the key lime goes in, you're going to see this thicken right up because of the acid, which is just what it's supposed to do. Pour in that key lime. Oh, that smells so good. You see that? You see how it thickens up into a nice, thick, creamy? Oh, look at that. Look at that. You have a nice thick cream already. That's perfect. Just make sure there are no lumps, which there aren't. And as soon as that comes out of the oven, that crust, we're gonna pour this in and put it right back in the oven. And then we just wait for it to cool off completely and we put the chill layer on. We'll be back. See you in a few. Okay, guys. Here we go. That just came out. We are going to pour this yummy cream in. And it's going to go back in for 20 minutes. Yum, yum. Gorgeous. When it comes out, we are going to let it cool down to absolute room temperature before we put the next layer on. Oh my God, that's so yummy. And then we will be back when it is room temperature and I'll show you how to do the next layer. See you later. Okay, we're coming to the finish line. So here we go. This is completely cooled. And what we have here is an eight ounce block of cream cheese. We have a quarter cup of our key lime juice. We have a quarter cup of room temperature sour cream. We have, oh my gosh, a half a cup of sweetened condensed milk and two tablespoons of sugar. Now, since this is a layered dessert and we want it to look pretty when you cut into it, on this layer, I add a drop of green food coloring. I am not a fan, uh, and this is me. I'm not a fan of food dyes, especially if children are gonna consume them. Um, when I was catering, I did a lot of desserts and I will accommodate whatever my customers wanted. If it's my choice, I use this. Watkins, um, they are non-GMO. They are made with vegetable juices, all natural, no food dyes in it. They work great for me. If you go on my La Chicala Facebook page and click on photos, you can scroll through hundreds, actually a couple of thousand photos of some of my work. You'll see a lot of baking. You will see some very vibrantly colored cakes. I'm not done with these. Those were by request of customers. I did what they wanted, um, but this is my choice. So I will put a drop 
of green. It's key lime. It'll be very pretty when you cut into it. And again, it's vegetable juice, um, all natural, and it won't harm anyone. I myself have health issues. I don't use anything that has preservatives in it. That's me, you do you. So, cream cheese, two tablespoons of sugar. We are going to um, whip this up, make sure everything's at room temperature. Remember, if it's not, especially the sour cream, it may clump up, it may separate, and we don't want that. So here goes. going to add the sour cream. This is working on this marble board. Everything slides around. I brought this over here so I can be in front of this camera. Now for the next step for the whipped cream topping that's flavored, I'm going to have to move this whole shebang over to the other side of the kitchen. So be forewarned. Okay. Once this layer goes on, I'm going to put it in the fridge while I move everything over and we get the whipped topping ready and get my pastry bag set up. And then everything will go in the fridge until tomorrow when it's served. I will ask the people who are getting this to please take a photo when it's cut so you guys will get to see the layers the next day. Here is the half cup of of sweetened condensed milk, I'm sorry. This is really sticky as always. This is not half a can, it's half a cup. Keep that in mind. There we go. Okay. As you can see, this is not a difficult recipe, it's just done in steps. So don't be intimidated. If you follow the steps, anybody can do this. Okay. You know, when I teach, I tell my students that all the time. Any recipe can be done, just follow step by step. Sometimes people get intimidated when they see a real long recipe, but if you follow the steps, anybody can do it. It's really, you know, people scare themselves. Quarter cup of your key lime juice. There we go. Oh, I'm pushing the wrong button. Just going to add a drop or two of this green. Let's see what comes up. It's very 
pale. These are natural vegetable dyes, so they're very pale. to spread this on top. There we go. It's a very, very, very pale mint green. There we go. Let me get this out of the way so you can see. go. Now this is going to go in the fridge while we get set up for the topping. So I'll see you back in just a couple minutes. Okay, here we are. So before we start, let me give you a couple of hints. Um, I had a client once asked me, I was talking to one of my former staff before and I figured out I have been making this dessert for 17 years now. So um, I flavor this frosting with my key lime juice. Here it is. Um, they actually make a key lime extract and I tried it once and I did not like it. It is pure turpinless key lime extract. I don't know what turpinless is. I looked at the ingredients and it says alcohol, water, and turpinless key lime oil. Alcohol is the first ingredient. Why? And then water and turpinless key lime oil is the last ingredient. It had a weird taste. It tasted, maybe it tasted like alcohol. I don't know what it was, but it was pungent. To me, it ruined my dessert. I won't use it, so there you go. Secondly, I'm gonna to admit to something, please don't attack me, but lately, and I'm talking for a while now, I've been using store brand cream cheese. I love Philadelphia, I really do, but grocery prices are insane, and I need to save where I can, and it's been working, so. There you go. Um, make your choice. Excuse me a minute. Nova, stop whining. I'm sorry. She sees a cat outside on the deck. Um, I've been using store brand and it's been working. I just have to. Yeah, you do what you gotta do. So here we go. I have a very scant cup of sugar I have one eight ounce block of cream cheese. Here, it has to be cold. I'm gonna whip those together and I'll be back in a minute because I forgot my heavy cream. I need a cup and a half of cold heavy cream. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. There's a good pinch of salt in there and just a drop of vanilla because as I said, we're gonna be flavoring it with the key lime. So here we go. I swear I don't know where my brain is these days. So we're just going to whip that up until the sugar is incorporated in the cream cheese. I'm going to put this on so it doesn't spatter. start pouring the heavy cream down and raising the speed. I want to 
break down the sides. Hang on a second. this is going to be so good. Now here is where I'm going to add in that key lime. Don't need a lot, we just want to give it a hint of flavor. Good. You are not going to believe this dessert, trust me. Just gonna add like a glug. Here we go. Take my hand over so it doesn't splatter. This is gonna thicken up and be like the best whipped cream frosting you ever had. You don't even need that anymore. I have my pastry bag ready to go with a big star tip on it. Yum. Just a little bit more. I think I want to add just another drop. Let me find my spatula. I know I washed it. Oh well, let me find it, hang on. There we go. Okay, we'll be back in a sec when I pull it out of the fridge. Here we go. So we're gonna start here and just go around. This is super easy. We're gonna make this simple. literally takes under two minutes to do this. When my son was home, he was in high school and I was catering, he used to do this for me. Okay, I can put this down. It's fun to make the different colors of citrus on the cake because it looks so pretty. 
So we have orange, lemon, and lime. The orange, green, and yellow makes it extra special. And I will leave it in the pan until tomorrow morning because that protects it. And I might take it out and put it in the box later on tonight. Depends. I have the box ready to go. And there you go. Is that gorgeous? And trust me, it tastes even better than it looks. Happy Fourth, everybody. Buon cibo, buon amici, good food, good friends, enjoy. You know what, I think I will take it out because I think you deserve to see what we put effort into and what we're sharing with family, with friends, with patriots, with Americans. Happy Fourth, enjoy.